uh, massage that my mother was giving to the father was uh, satanical. This was diabolical practice with uh, a cream lotion she would load it in one. Uh, that's some cheap dollar cream, but I think it's a good cream. But, um, you know, when you get once per week shower and you're on your back 24 hours a day, I don't think you should get uh, any kind of cream actually. And another thing is, uh, if you give somebody a massage, you have to give somebody a massage so that you don't agitate his skin, but that you rather concentrate yourself on uh, muscles that you, you know, that you move them, that you massage them. And the second thing is, uh, the stuff that she was doing, the, the way that she was doing is like this, like a ninja and was doing like this which is like scrapping off on a skin like this this was a massage this is killing this is a murder you can kill you can kill 14 or 18 years old or 20 years old like this you can kill person at any fucking you can kill anybody like this the thing is that home for elderly people physicians administered this stuff they watched it my father cried to my mother already in 2010 to stop it to no longer do it all the physicians from home for elderly people physicians from Novo Mesto General Hospital observed watched and studied her behavior and on top of that she also go and scratch him because of course how the fuck not? It's a uh, candida. It's a uh, it's a uh, it's bacteria. It's infection. That especially in the summertime, who doesn't have it? Basically. Now, when you're in this kind of situation and you're not moving around and you want to go and you want to scratch yourself, let me explain something. Even myself, I did not scratch my back. Even I did not go and touch my back with my problems. And I'm much younger and I'm a mobile. I do some exercise and so on. And he doesn't do nothing. He's lying down and that's all there is to it. He gets a shower treatment. And those shower treatments are not done properly. Because it's what people do. Well, people don't do job. They usually, most often what they do is, especially in, even if they want to fuck you, they leave the soap. They don't rinse the soap of your back. That was a frequent situation with me, with the showers I got. And so, from these people during MK Ultra procedures. And so you get a shower one time a week. It's a shit shower. You don't get any warm baths that you would eventually father should go inside of this uh, bathtub literally and sit in some kind of bathtub for this shit basically to go off his skin because I feel that his skin is like a zoo and this is his condition I think it's extremely unhygienical I think it's extremely inappropriate and they know about it they watched it they know about it and there we are here we are again the red spot that you see in the back already 2010 father was really worried about it but it was nothing big according to the physicians who administered and observed everything and inspected listen my father not supposed to be in a home for elderly people ever till year 2022 yeah he spent forcefully thrown inside of the hospital and inside of the home for elderly people where he was used for the torture purposes it's where the police would deliver me and would use father to present me all kinds of crazy issues for the future reference when i would go visit him this is what mr william james burns was into the one who insisted in fact that the only way for me to complete the project is to get the father out of here there is no way there was no way to talk to my mother my mother does not understand 
uh, they are doing this like a robot on a robotical level and they're not going to do anything about it till eventually it's going to be dead. This is the way they operate. They work like a machinery basically, like on a fucking assembly line. They just process this stuff. To stop my mother, I would literally have to call the police. I did inform the police about this stuff. I informed police on my MK Ultra complaint. They need to hurry up due to circumstances of my father at home for elderly people also. Instead of that, I'm still waiting for this month, which is going to be on the 25th of this month, to finally have appointment for something I already complained about in year 2018.